industry really developed way back in the early 1970s, right? when um, uh, there is um, uh, when when China is still very isolated, and, and Hong Kong, in fact, you, you may not, some people may not realize it, Hong Kong continuously for all, more than 10 years is the world's leading number one uh, garment export. Uh, Region when when China opens up in the uh, late 1970s, in the early 1980s, then then Hong Kong's productions moved in, into China. But of course, Hong Kong now has moved away from the manufacturing side. So we we are uh, what we call ourselves is a major sourcing center, major uh, business center for the fashion industry. And uh, you, you can see all the top brands, in fact, have, have uh, the headquarters in Hong Kong. Sustainable development, in fact, uh, if we consider sustainable development, we don't consider sustainable development in isolation as such, because uh, many people, once they saw this, this term, uh, sustainable development, they think this is environment. In fact, it's more than environment issues, right? It's also uh, uh, social responsibility, and we always consider it as a free liquid store, right? Social responsibility. But at the same time, the companies themselves need to be financially sustainable to do it. Otherwise, because they are not, not actually not the, not, not charitable organizations, right? They have to make a profit, right? And and people have to realize it when when they accuse. The, the, the industry, all right, because really they need to survive also. Right? In the past, they only look at compliance, all right, social responsibility. But then uh, the, the uh, issue on um, environment def definitely will, will have to be uh, considered. And so we, we think, why, why don't we get together and form a consortium, right? The, the way how the consortium can work is really to uh, share best practice, all right, promote the issue, the importance of sustainability uh, um, uh, development. So uh, people, and also try to educate the, the uh, community at large that uh, we have to wear clothing. <laughs> All right. So, but we we realize that it is important for us to be accountable. All right, for social responsibility as well as for environmental issues. Mm -hmm. SFBC is a uh, uh, sustainable fashion business consortium. Right? Uh, SFBC, uh, we, we have 12 founding members. Uh, all, I, I, they are, I think, except for one uh, designer, they are all from manufacturers. Once realized that uh, by Making calculation on the on the carbon footprint of a or a, or of a final product, like currently, the, the most popular method is the life cycle analysis. Right, you, you started all, well, like cradle to grave. Right, you started with the even for example like cotton products. You started with the growing of the cotton and and started to to the end when you dump all the all the product at the end. But if, if you, and if you look at the life cycle analysis, in fact, as you, as you, you said earlier, um, educating the consumer, in fact, is the most crucial. Because uh, if you look at the, from cradle, uh, cradle to grave, if you look at a, at a, at a garment product or, a, or a fashion product, uh, the major uh, couplet to, for carbon footprint is consumer. So, in fact, everyone's involved. Earth's everyone's, all right? And so we, 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 we really want to educate them. And that is why the involvement of the brands is also a very good thing. And so our pro project, this, we started this project, all right, on, on looking at the intimate apparel. Because uh, um, uh, according to some, some of, of uh, uh, the, the, some people from the industry, they said, uh, Hong Kong interest on intimate apparel production, global production accounts for 50% of our interest. And it is representative enough, I think. All right. we, are, we also have a project looking at jeans. Right? Whether we like it or not, people like, love to wear jeans. Mm -hmm. right? And if 
for example, a lot of the NGOs are accusing the genes producers that it's just not constructive. Our ways of thinking is really to be very constructive, and we want to share the best practice with with uh, all the gene producers that there is a better way to produce gene. Really wants to convince the manufacturers to be uh, 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 to look at this issue. You have to convince them this is financially viable and. One of their, their companies, they have, they have a very big big company, they have a lot of different cost centers, right? One, co one of the, the best cost center for them to do such, such, a, such an exercise, uh, they actually save 90% of the paper. But just say 90% means nothing. And 90% actually means more than one and a half million pieces of paper. They may have to invest initially, right? But once you calculate it, the return of the investment, it's normally it's a relatively short time. Because we 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 now in is in a, in a situation that as uh, supply is more than demand. I think I think that that is is the problem, major the the, 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 the crunch of the of it, right? And and like like fast fashion, uh, fast fashion, for example. Uh, and, and in fact, um, if you buy a piece of, of, of uh, garment, it is so much, so much cheaper than, than 10, 20 years ago. And people just don't, don't really treasure. And they just wear it a number of times and they just throw it away. Right? And, and that, that is a culture, I think, that to be rewarded. Everything is expensive. Everything has its value. Uh, I think so. so I think consumer, in a way, that don't don't realize it, right? Because it is so cheap to them, and and it, and and that that is how they own the earth. Right? The resources are really scarce, although presently, because of the the, the supply is so much more than the demand, and there is such a phenomenon. But but in the long run, I really don't think. This is sustainable. Um, if you look at the brands, all right, people wear the same brands. <laughs> Sarah, H&M, now Uniqlo. All right. I mean that 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 has a major impact. I think uh, uh, you 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 tend to see people looking almost looking exactly the same <laughs> when you go to New York or when you when you here in Hong Kong. Right, but um, I I think it's a it's a good thing. To me, it's a good thing. Right? Well, it's red, all right, and, and people really need to 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 communicate in in a in a in a better way. Like music, for example, in, in the past, music may be may be, may be a, a common language right, for for all all people in the world. But but now I think fashion it, again. Well, uh, well. Very, very few people talk about it, but but I personally strongly believe, uh, like some of the of the brands, they have a, a, a like for example, they they want to promote sustainability and they 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 promote maybe a special line, right? That that's sustainable. To me, I don't think this is this is uh, a good thing. I I really want to see that people when they go into a brand, they know this brand, the whole brand, <laughs> every product. Is sustainable. I think that would be. Uh, 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 I hope this can become a common language. I think consumers can actually push the brands uh, to do this.